This wiring is just a mess. And to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to electrical work. I got my gauge pods, my uh, Sparco harnesses, and what is this again? Oh yeah, my shift knob. I've been having so many issues trying to get the RX-7's title transferred. The main issue was because the original owner, when he sold it to the guy I bought the car from, they never transferred the title into his name, so it was just a straight transfer from the original owner to me so I had to get like a trail from him to the guy I bought it from and then from him to me so now I'm heading back to AAA right now hopefully it gets resolved today because I've been trying to get this title transferred for like two weeks you cut the katana? <laughs> yeah oh, oh fuck it's that one that a hoe real quick? It's like perfect size too. I thought it was gonna be a little bigger than that. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Ah. Some samurai fucking shit, dude. This I don't is... need to hear no ricer comments on this one. Dude, that thing's dope. Yeah, this and it feels tight. like super dope quality. That's tight. A little vinyl sticker. That's pretty D&D. That's the brand of the dick and dick. Dick and dick. Dudes and dicks. Ooh, a little Sparkle logo. Oh, damn, that was sick. We're good to go. Let's see what this shift knob's gonna look like real quick. We decided to put like a washer so we can like make it exactly fit how you want. Well, I'm not gonna tighten it, but it'll be like that. That's sick as fuck. I fuck with it. It's like perfect size too. We're going to Harbor Freight to buy the pieces that we need so we can put on the struts on the trunk. And uh, what else do we need? We need to buy like a spool of 14 to 16 gauge wire so that we can, you know, rewire the methanol kit. This reaction video is... That's too hot. Oh! <laughs> Ooh! It's just is not fucking, this is no fucking joke. All these package deals. Like, why can't I just get these, like 20, 10 or something like that? Why do For I need... like 50 cents. Yeah, why do I need all... Going to Harbor Freight or AutoZone for guys is like the equivalent to girls going to Target. You go there for like one or two things and you end up leaving with like a bunch of random shit. What's up, puppy? This is Ivan's dog right here. Come here. Yeah, you're old, you're scared. Damn, you're gonna punk me like that on camera? Yeah, you know what you did. Whatever. Time to go work on this car back here hopefully we can make some progress today wish we could just work on cars all day every day but you know we have the whole business to run and so pretty much what we do is after five o'clock that's when we'll get back here and knock out whatever we can in two three hours and then do it again the next day the goal for today is at least to get the hole through the firewall we picked up this at harbor freight and so we're hoping that we can at least get the hole in the firewall made and then run the wire through to the back like the grill sits at an upper position i don't even think like you'd be able to like feed it yeah because it's feeding in through a weird ass angle yeah that's my problem like how could you possibly make it do it weird? from the inside there's a big fuse box that's in here i don't know if you guys can right see it there but ivan's gonna remove it and hopefully that'll give us a better angle There's a hole that the previous owner already made that's perfect for wiring the battery and we don't want to have to make another hole and if, even if we do, it can only be like an inch lower than the original hole. So we're trying to just get back here but we're having problems because of how much shit is in the way. We just have way too many fuses and relays blocking our path to the hole. We're probably gonna have to just remove this fuse box right here because that's the main thing that's blocking our path. I'm a lefty too in case you guys didn't know, so. Wow. 
What is you doing? You reject me and now you're sitting in my car? Damn, dude, you're a savage just like your pops. <laughs> He's a good boy. All right, take it out a little bit more so you can pull it. Pull it out towards you. There it is. Put that on the hole. Nice water tight seal. Now that we got the wire through and everything's good on that end, we're just gonna run the wire. We're gonna run this through. We're gonna run this through this panel all the way alongside here, behind here, into the trunk. Guys, as you guys can see, we finally got our main power cable from the, the engine bay all the way to the trunk. So we're a step closer to finally relocating the battery. All right, so we're just gonna finish up by putting the fuse box back. We're gonna put it back together, whatever we can put together. The problem was is that we're fixing the methanol connection, we're relocating the battery, and we're putting in the double din stereo all at the same time. So the whole interior of the car is a mess right now. That's why it's taking a little longer because we just literally took everything apart. We're gonna finish everything in the next couple days. Tomorrow we're probably just going to finish with relocating the battery, which is fine. It's the original pigtail on the stereo was cut. So if we don't have any complications with the wiring, we should be able to finish the stereo in one day after we finish the battery tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. But that's the end of the video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We do a giveaway every video. So the winner from last video is... And congratulations to you. Make sure that you DM us your shirt size and address and we'll make sure to ship out your order right away. All you have to do to enter into our giveaway in every video is to just comment on this video below and catch you in the next episode. Peace. Tell them make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> you always forget, huh? What? Make Say sure like you guys fucking like and subscribe. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm